Hello everyone, welcome to our fifth strike zone for bowling. Let's dive right into it. First, the reminders for this week. A lot of these have crossed over multiple weeks or just last week. A reminder on USB-C rules in the manual. That manual has been updated in the last week with some tiebreaker clarification. Those are links on this week's strike zone. Also reminders on outside participation, the match score sheet template, how to report results, and the state bowling schedule. Let's talk about some new information. First, on December 23rd and going through the 27th, that is the NSAA five-day Christmas moratorium. You cannot have practice, cannot have competitions. Your facilities, schools are shut down. Um, that is a mandatory break during those days. If you've got questions, talk to your AD or reach out to me. Also new information surrounding rotation of lanes in competition. I had a few people reach out to me in the last week or so asking about during the Baker portion of your matches, how often should teams change lanes on a pair? Um, some places are changing lanes after five frames in a Baker game. Other centers are changing after each Baker game. We've left that up to a local school slash bowling center uh, decision. And it's been that way for now three seasons of high school bowling at the NSAA level. And we did that predominantly because your technology is gonna differ and vary from center to center across the state. Do know that when um, your team um, qualifies for the state championships, we will use a rotation after every five frames in a Baker game. So again, it's a local decision. The key here is though, make sure if you're hosting, whether it's a dual match or a tournament, whatever it is, make sure you're pre-communicating that ahead of time so everybody's on the same page. The other piece of new information to this week is the links to the district assignments. If you haven't checked those out recently, I have acquired roughly half of the district hosts for district bowling that are coming up at the end of January. I'll likely be finishing those up in the next week, so make sure you keep tabs on that. Find out where your team is going on districts and for district tournaments. With that, I wish you all a Merry Christmas, and we'll talk soon.